Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the film Oblivion starring Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. Alright, so Oblivion is about the story of Tom Cruise who plays his ver veteran who is assigned to extract Earth's remaining resources. He begins to question himself and the missions that he is brought to. And that's all I'm going to give you. So going into Oblivion... I was so excited to see this film. I was disappointed. I couldn't see it in theaters, though. I just didn't get the chance. But, luckily, it made it to the dollar theaters. Well, after reading some mixed reviews, some people hating it, some may it, and some liking it. If you're one of those people that likes it, that's good. But, to be honest, I was disappointed in Oblivion. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some very great things about this film, but there is also very weak points to this film that, uh, that it was just a letdown for me. But it's not a bad film overall. It's an entertaining film. And it's from director Joseph Kaczynski. He's the director of Tron Legacy. I loved Tron Legacy. I just love the direction Joseph Kaczynski took. And sure, it didn't have as much action as everyone had hoped it would be, but I just thought the direction he took with Tron Legacy, it just all worked for me. While his second film, Oblivion, it could have been better. First of all, I'm just going to say this. The film looks freaking beautiful. Just how it looks, the setting, the background, it looks phenomenal. Joseph Kaczynski has made another beautiful looking film and I was just so mind blown. Tom Cruise as Jack Harper, second film in a row he plays a character named Jack. The, his previous film was Jack Reacher, so, but he plays a character named Jack Harper, and I thought he did a well done job playing the character, Tom Cruise, he acted well, I thought the red headed uh, woman, who's pretty, uh, that was helping Tom Cruise with all the missions, I thought she acted well, Morgan Freeman, yeah, that's a problem I have with this film, he was definitely underused in this film. I counted how many scenes he was in, and he was only in three scenes. Yeah, three scenes of Morgan Freeman. He was good in the film, and he had a cool character. His character wasn't really what I expected it to be. I just wish that they used a little more something out of Morgan Freeman. The film does have twists and turns, too. And it's basically what everyone says. There's some you're going to see a mile away. There are some you won't see coming. And a, a good amount I didn't see coming. And I was a little bit surprised. But then there are others where I'm all like, okay, that's happening next. But I was just kind of like, whatever, when I called it. This film felt so out of place. The scenes they were going, and then that scene to another scene. Just how the film was developing and some of the elements that were going on. Some elements in this film did work, but there were other elements that really made the film a little crumbled and a bit sloppy, to be honest. And I'll be honest, there were a few times that I got so confused with this film, and I was just scratching my head. Head. Like, I'm all like, okay, what's happening now? So, I was very confused a few times. But after the movie ended and after thinking about it uh, afterwards, I was starting to pick up on what I kind of missed in the film. But the positives in this film, though, is that the action sequences, although not a whole lot of them, but when it was there, it was really cool. I loved the action. It was just so great. Really enjoyed it. The storyline overall, it's nothing special. It has some great things in there, but also has some, uh, oh man, not so great things in there too. And then we have the cronies, and some people said they look silly, but to me, I thought the cronies looked pretty cool. Oblivion is an entertaining film. It does run a little bit too long. I would say at least 20 minutes could have been cut out of Oblivion. Some things worked in the film, some things didn't. I wasn't really too happy how it ended, to be honest, but 
the ending's just kind of like there. I was just like, whatever. Not Joseph's best film, considering this is his second film. I'm gonna give it two and a half out of four stars. It's entertaining, so yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!